Hello everyone, this is Ed from Slayer Pro Gamers and welcome to Final Fantasy 13 2 Walkthrough Part 17. Here is where we left off from Part 16, trying to beat the one armed freak. They keep showing up everywhere. Trying to beat this bastard once and for all. Because he is a tough one to be getting here. So let's see what we can do it this time. Start off with Cerberus, start with the Stagger, and he will use the Steel Image, and that's when he use um, his Spuna. Swap there. Try Disaster to get the most out of this. Use the Multicast ability here, my guy. Up a lot. Cerberus, staggered already, and go all out salt. Quick kick into the commando, very powerful commando I have here. So we want to use that. This is here, no problem, just respect comment for him. Cerberus will quick try to finish off the stagger. No worries. You like to get your own health. Switch back to combat point after you dump the stagger. And he's going down to a shield now, which you can't hurt him. Still, you have to be done with it. You have to um, get him staggered, so. Remember when he does the protector or you know, the other steel aimants, you know, just make sure you use Asuna. You will do shit like this, that powerful attack right there. And that's when you get your trouble. Disaster here. Try to get close as we can. Should keep your health up. Always keep your health up. Because with wound damage here, it will make him incredibly low. You do not want that. Shell here, so we have to do that. He will do an attack called Yuza. For now, that will be bad. She holds the test here to go to the stagger meter. I'm not going to hear it. Health back on. And now we gotta, we gotta have to do this one here. Yes, yeah, so I can know that um waste of time here with aggression here, but you know, you gotta do it, you gotta take them out because if you don't, then it's gonna be bad. Oh, get too low. Kick here. Take as much as you can possible. And there you have it. He is done. Pretty much have it there. You should be able to deal with him pretty good, pretty fast. Hopefully you caught that, you know, you know how to beat him now. Is it dead? Apparently not, he's dead.
And look who it is. It's Hope. Still with his goddamn boomerang. When monsters like these are cornered, they cause a space time vortex to appear. An electromagnetic shock usually shuts them down. It's been a while, Sarah. Hope, oh, 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 oh. Is, is that you? I'm grateful you remember me. Who's this? Oh, uh. Director of Academy Research, Team Alpha. Hope Est, I'm at your service. And you, you must be Noel. Nice guess. Who told you? You appeared here with Sarah some years ago, at the Brescia ruins. Subsequently, we analyzed the gate and forecast your reappearance at this location. <laughs> to be honest, Pretty ironic. I didn't really believe that time travel was possible. But, here you are. I'm really glad you're safe. For me, it's as if time has stopped. Everyone I knew is gone. Oh. Uh, from your point of view, it's been years since you last saw Sarah. Not just Sarah. Snow as well. And Saz and his boy. You all disappeared from my life. It's been ten years now. Damn, ten years. I never thought... When the paradox occurred some years ago, I thought if I could solve it, maybe you would all come back. Help. There you are! What were you thinking? Taking off and leaving me all on my own. And now we get a fragment, 3500 CP. Nice. It was a shock seeing Hope grown older than me. But he was still the same Hope I knew. Lightning, Hope listened really to like he manned up to me. I told him about how I'm the only one who remembers your smile on the plane of Grand Pulse. I told him about how Snow set out to try and save you and Vanille and Fang. And I told him about Noel. Noel from the future. There's something I want to show you both. If we can continue our conversation as we walk. Shall we? A little grabby she is. That's kind of funny. Tell me, Hope, what made you join the academy? A sense of duty. Vanille, Fang, Lightning. They turned to crystal so that we might live. It was an enormous sacrifice. And my sister and the others. I think they wanted to preserve life. They gave us a chance to live again. They put the future in our hands. We're in a position to build a society based on human technology. No longer subject to the whim of the foul sea. That's the gift we've been given. Guests of yours, Director? Watch your step in there. Thank you. Isn't the Academy a research institute? Why do you need so many soldiers? Without the foul sea around, we have to be able to protect ourselves. And that means guns. The time distortions spawn hostile creatures. Until we can resolve the paradox, we need military force to repel threats. That makes sense. These armed patrols are essential for our safety. It's hard to believe it's really been ten years. So much time has passed. Let's hear about the ruins. I feel like I know what they're about, at least. This is some kind of ancient city, right? The city of Padra, or so we believe. It was the center of a great kingdom built by a nation known as the Farseers. Farseers? You're telling me there used to be enough of them to build this entire town? Hmm. According to our research, we believe they constituted an entire nation. A polity that was ruled by a series. Can you see me now? Standing here in this place. I wonder what that means. Is 
And we shall leave that off for part 18. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.